Ron, you're still ticked off about the play you didn't make down there. Like right. Louisiana. Right. <laughs> so what, what happened on that the crazy turnover? I mean, Landrews did his job, came up, filled right, and then the ball started spilling out. And you can see I, I kicked it first, and then I tried to get on it, but all I heard was footsteps around me, not knowing it was my teammates' feet. So I just, I just got on it, not even thinking about it, even though it's fourth down. So that was on me. Got to know the situation. Coach Warrick was talking today, even though statistically they took away one of the turnovers at the end of the game, it's still four turnovers, something last year's defense wasn't much good at getting those. Right. Is, is that an emphasis this year to create more turnovers? Oh, yeah, teams? most definitely. I feel like. This is the year to do. I feel like the main or the uh, main strength is our DB. So we got to create turnovers. Teams are going to try and pass on us a lot. So we got to create turnovers. So we got to get interceptions, fumbles, force fumbles. I feel like you guys will see a lot of that this year. So I feel like we just got to keep climbing off that, keep stacking off that. How do you emphasize turnovers in practice and in, in, in game preparation? Um, just every single chance we get, punching the ball out when they going over their schemes, making plays on the ball. Like, we really just, you got to practice it. Like, if you don't practice it, then it won't show up in the game. You guys, you and Jaquarius last year, you and Capri competed against each other for that starting position. Right. This year, you're playing alongside each other. How did maybe last year's experience make you guys better teammates? Oh, good, because at the end of the day, we was competing against each other, but we knew, like, we ended to winning. Like, we teammates, because he going to get his shine, I'm going to get mine. So we just knew that. We got to work together because we're still in the same team at the end of the day. And he's a selfish player. I'm a selfish player myself. So I just feel like we just weren't selfish with it. Like we just just knew we had to push each other. How nice is it to be out there on the field at the same time now? Oh, it's good. It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? We just we just blessed to be back on the field. So I just thank God I got a guy I can trust behind me. And I know that what he brings to the table. When you watch the film of the game and look at some of the tackles that weren't finished or missed entirely, what was happening there? After last year's defense, what you did was kind of a you know, sting of the pride a little bit? I mean, no, because I mean it's the first game jitters. You know, everybody's not perfect. We're going to miss tackles. That stuff happens. But what we, how we learn off of that and go forward is what defines us. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like with that being said, we know what we had to correct. We know what we had to do. So I know that we'll be straight from here going on. Chauncey was talking about the, how difficult it was to contain that quarterback, a mobile guy like that. What, yeah. what did you all see like that from the secondary? Man, just because at the end of the day, we didn't want to get embarrassed either. So we stand back in coverage. Just hopefully, like, he don't get to us. So, I mean, we could see it from afar. We see him running like Cam Newton almost, really. Kyle, uh, Kyle Murray, whatever. So it was just, we just had to stay back in coverage. But we knew he was going to be shifted. We knew he could run the ball. So we just had to stay down in coverage because he was trying to pass instead of really just run downfield. You're seeing a very different type of quarterback this week. How would you describe some of this offense? Um, I mean, they're more of a spread. They like to spread it out, zone read, stretches. Like, they pass a lot, though, too. So I feel like this is going to be a good game and a good challenge for our DBs to see where we're really at because they pass the ball quite a bit. So I know up front, linebackers, we straight with the run. So it's just really just, I feel like this is going to be a challenge for us at the, uh, in the back end. They have a lot of speed at the wide receiver position. Is there anything <coughs> that stands out about that group? Um, no, not really. I mean, it's just another game. Another Saturday, so we just got to approach it like it's the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? If we do that, we shouldn't have nothing to worry about. Said spreading out, uh, spreading out. They like to spread out the defense and all that. How comfortable is it to what you all see in practice every day? Um, I mean, cause think about it, it's, we got a scout team, so we really line up. We go against that already as it is. So right. it's really just practicing. It just takes time. We just got to do our job. How do you attack the bubble? It's a nickel safety. I know that they're a team that likes a lot of bubbles, but how do you, as your mindset, how do you go attack the bubble? I mean, you just got to take the block head on, keep contain. I got to do my job. So I got to keep, I got to turn them back into Landrews, turn them back into E, the uh, pursuit that's coming. So really, but if I have enough room, I can slip inside. I can, you can do a lot of different things, but for the most part, I got to take them on and keep outside contain. Looking forward to getting on the home field again. Oh yeah, yes sir. First one in Damon's way is going to be live.